Okay, let's see how long it takes to heat this water up to 50 degrees. So I'll turn my power on there, turn the PID controller power on there, and that should fire up in a moment. There should be energy going to that heater now. Okay, you can see there's a shimmer there, and you, you can see that so it's definitely working. I've just got it suspended on a piece of timber there and a peg, just to hold it off the walls and the bottom of the bucket. Okay, I started at 14 degrees, we're already at 24, so see how the PID controller kicks in I haven't programmed it, this is just in its default factory state so yeah we'll see what happens it shouldn't take long Five litres of water in that bucket. Now the PID started to cycle, so you can hear that's backing that off a bit, so it doesn't overshoot. Once again, I just haven't changed the settings on there, it's just using the factory default, I haven't auto-tuned it or anything, so yeah. You can see the water's warming up here. It's not sure what the temperature out here is. It's oh, about probably about 12 degrees, maybe. So we're almost there. You can see yeah, it's cycling. So this is really not optimised at all, but if I tell the uh, unit to auto-tune, then it should be able to hold that temperature fairly well. May as well test if the RCD works. Yep, she works alright. Okay, I'll reset the RCD. So yeah, we're pretty close there to the set uh, set value. Although I don't have a thermometer handy I can stick in there. But I know that's accurate enough for most purposes where you don't need absolute precision. So yeah, 4 minutes 40 in where practically at 50 degrees with a uh, short interruption in the middle so yeah you can say um, 
that's uh, one minute a litre to bring it up to 50 degrees in these situations so yeah that's all